here with New Horizons Golf. Today I want to show you a couple of drills that you can use um, to help maintain your skills for being a body player, for those of you that want to be body players that is. These are some uh, basic partial shots that we're going to do and we're going to uh, initiate them with one-handed shots. We're also going to learn how to keep our, our left hand out of the swing um, in an active manner by getting it involved where it simply holds on to either your wrist, your, your forearm, or your upper arm as your right arm holds that club and you play your golf shots. You're going to find as you play these shots that you want to hold the club very lightly in your right hand only or your dominant hand. If you're playing left-handed golf, hold in your left hand only. And you, you almost want to have a feeling like you're holding it like you're going to hold an egg so that it's it'd be impossible to crack that egg. So you want to hold it very light. You're going to initiate this action with your, your weight shift, your uh, knees and your core. When you get your body involved from your feet through your core, you're going to find that you're going to be able to control that action with your body. You're going to find that your arms, your hands, and the golf club are just going to swing along with the action and you're going to have a true swinging ac action. Keep in mind that if you're going to create a swinging action, something has to move the swing. Think about a swing set. The swing will just hang straight down if nothing moves it. But if you get on it and you start pushing it or if somebody pushes you on the swing, you can get that swinging motion swinging. So the, the arms, the hands, and the club, they are the swing. And the body becomes the engine, which gets that swing moving. So I'm going to demonstrate the first one here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get set up. Again, I'm going to hold that club very lightly in my right hand only. I'm going to take my left arm and I'm going to hold with my left hand my upper arm. This is going to keep my upper arm in a very connected position in relation to my body. Some of you golfers will find out that being very connected like this, what I call strictly connected, works great for you. And if it does work for you, you're going to find that after you know, playing some shots, you're going to be able to maintain you know, good pivot action and play good golf shots as your left arm is holding your upper arm you know, close to your body. So let's go ahead and play a few of these and see what they look like. Okay, one thing I like about that drill, and that is the strictest of the three I'm going to show you today, is that because you're keeping that arm strictly connected to your body, your postural angles and your body motions, the, the angle of rotations that you create, the alignments that you have in your body, all have to be perfect in order for you to play a good shot. If your body's moving out of position, there's no way that club's going to get back and release through that ball in a very natural, relaxed manner and play a good golf shot. So as soon as your body comes out of position, your arms and hands you know, often seek to try to make good contact or if they just go along for the ride, there's throw out in the action and the contact is going to be off. So you know, by keeping that arm strictly connected to your body and go ahead and making that pivot action, you're going to find that it, if your arm stays nice and relaxed, it's just going to hinge up, it's going to fall with the action as your body pivots forward, it's just going to drop, release through the ball. And, and again, your body has to be in, in perfect posture, perfect alignment for that club to get back to that ball, to contact the ball first, then the ground with the bo club bottoming out in front of the ball. Now, there's uh, two other ways of doing this. They're a little less strictly connected. They're just as good uh, depending on your swing style and what works for you. Again, I'd like you to try all three of these, find out which one works for you, and once you have a good feeling of, of how they work for you, then you can go ahead and use it on a regular basis. Of course, you can take these ideas, you can experiment with them, you can come up with other variations of it yourself as well, so that you can find a good way of getting your dominant arm in control in a, in a very passive manner in the sense that it just swings along with what the body wants it to do. Um, and it just allows us to keep stability and control over that golf club. The, the next one we're going to do, we're actually going to hold right at the the bottom of the elbow joint right at the top of the forearm we're going to hold right there. Once again we want to hold that club very light like you're holding an egg. You want your, your feet, your knees, and your core to be pivoting back and through and you want to let the arm you know, just swing along with the action. 
If you do it correctly, again, you're going to be able to play some solid shots. You're going to find that the body's doing the work. The arms, hands, and club are more responding to what the body's doing. That's going to make you a body player. Okay, so that was, that's what it looks like when you go ahead and you hold your arm right at the top of your forearm. This motion has a little bit more freedom in it. Now, there's what I call pure body players, and there are body players that still have some independent arm action in the golf swing. If you are a body player that has a little bit of independent arm action in your swing but still feel like you're purely connected, you may find that holding that forearm um, with your, your left hand is a good way to train how you can get your pivot initiating the swing you know, directing the swing, but still allowing your arms to have the freedom that you need to so you can have the rhythm and timing you need in your golf swing. Okay, there's one more version of this I'd like to show you. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to hold with my left hand the back of my wrist joint of my right hand. And again, my body's going to do the work. I want to hold that club very lightly like I'm holding an egg so it's impossible to crack that egg. As my body's just back and through, my arms are just going to swing along for the ride. I'm going to let my body do the work. I'm going to let my arms and hands respond. Okay, now I'm going to show you the, the, the same drills from the other direction so that we can see a couple of other things that we need to do to make this work. Um, for now, just keep in mind that when you're training these drills, you want your dominant arm to be in control. You want to be holding that club very lightly so that the body does the work, the arms, hands, and the, the club respond. And you just want to get that left hand into a position where it understands that it's a part of the action to help stabilize it. However, it's very passive instead of trying to be active and pull and, and trying to control that golf club.